SMT1 says 1,3-dimethamphetamine, not even once. <laughs> What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about DMAA, 1,3-dimethylamylamine, also called geranium extract, borethane, geranamine, methylhexanamine is another big one, and many other marketed names that go on supplement labels, such as geranibur. What exactly is it though? It is a straight-chain 7-carbon aliphatic amine with a structure similar to that of amphetamine and methamphetamine. It started as an indirect sympathomimetic drug developed and distributed by Eli Lilly and Company, a pharmaceutical firm based in Indianapolis. It was marketed as a nasal decongestant meant to be inhaled. This was in 1944. It was withdrawn from the market in 1983. Sympathomimetic drugs are central nervous system stimulants that mimic epinephrine or adrenaline, norepinephrine or noradrenaline, dopamine or other catecholamines. These work through direct or indirect stimulation of the alpha and beta adrenergic receptors in your body. These adrenergic receptors are most known for being the targeted receptors of the catecholamines, most commonly adrenaline and noradrenaline. Adrenaline is a hormone secreted by the adrenal glands, especially in conditions of stress, increasing rates of blood circulation, breathing, and carbohydrate metabolism. Noradrenaline is a neurotransmitter released by adrenergic nerve terminals in the autonomic and possibly the central nervous system that has such effects as constricting blood vessels, raising blood pressure, and dilating bronchi. More recently, DMAA has been used in pre-workout supplements as a CNS stimulant, such as the original USP Labs jacked, and the current APS nutrition mesomorph formula. Some people believe it suppresses their hunger as well, and so it is also used as a fat-burning supplement. It has even been marketed as a study drug. DMA is natural, right? It comes from geraniums. Not necessarily. According to this study, DMAA is in fact not found in geranium oil. The abstract for this study states that for products labeled as containing geranium oil, the methyl hexanamine can only arise from the addition of synthetic material. Does this in fact mean that all DMAA in supplements is synthetic? Who knows? There's only one study on the matter, and the fact that they found no trace of methyl hexanamine in geranium oil is suspect. Also, the fact that DMA was created back in 1944 by a pharmaceutical company as a synthetic drug doesn't really help the case that DMA is a naturally occurring substance in flowers. What are the effects of DMA? So DMA is known as a nootropic, which means it is a cognitive enhancer. This is why it's sometimes used as a study drug and it helps with your focus. It's a central nervous system stimulant, so it causes a quick spike of energy similar to that of caffeine. This spike of energy is usually accompanied by an increase in mental focus. Some studies show that taking DMAA in conjunction with caffeine raises blood pressure, like many other supplements. Then some people claim that it is an appetite suppressant as well, which also aids in it being used as a fat burner supplement because it gives you energy and suppresses your hunger. And who knows, maybe it'll actually clear your nasal passages as well. How much DMA should I be taking in one dose? Well, that depends on your goals. Most supplements have around 20 to 70 milligrams of DMA. Mesomorph by APS Nutrition, for example, has 65 milligrams of DMA per scoop. This is on the higher end. Other products I've seen, primarily fat burners, have 20 to 30 milligrams per dose. Most of the products I see online that contain DMA that are not Super small companies are APS Nutrition and high-tech pharmaceuticals. How long does DMAA stay in my system? The half-life of DMAA is 8.5 hours. That means half of it is still in your system eight hours after you take it. Methyl hexanamine is a strong stimulant, and some people may experience sleep issues if taken too close to bedtime. What are the people saying about DMAA? SupplementHQ.com said, Personally, I think DMAA is bitching. However, the FDA has recently revoked its supplement label and it can no longer be sold as such. There are not any official studies available on the use of DMAA as a cognitive enhancer, but from personal use, I can testify that it is a solid energy and focus enhancer. It is a central nervous system stimulant and is commonly paired with caffeine. 
can cause false positive of amphetamines, so athletes beware. Here's a quote from the bodybuilding.com forums. I've tried virtually everything under the sun and nothing provides that same level of focus as DMAA. I'm almost always in the zone, but with 1-3, it's like extreme tunnel vision where the only thing in the world that exists is that rep and that set. Redfish225 says, this stuff is bad. I love eggs. SMT1 says, 1-3 dimethamphetamine not even once. So in the end, the research I did was pretty enlightening and really helped shed some light on the topic of 1,3-dimethylamylamine. Will I still be taking Mesomorph? Yes. Do I think it's kind of sketchy that sub companies market DMAA as a naturally occurring substance that comes from geraniums? Yes. Given the fact that that study shows that methylhexanamine is not in fact found in geranium oil, I find that kind of suspicious. But science is science. It's not like I shy away from GMO fruit and only buy organic non-GMO products. GMO is not killing people regardless of what tree huggers say. A few months back I saw a study about animals who had been fed GMO products for years, and none of them had any increasing trends of disabilities or debilitating diseases. Guys, you have a stronger immune system than most farm animals do. The human body is an amazing machine, but I'm getting off topic. Long story short, guys, before putting any sort of supplement or chemical or even food in your body, make sure you do your research, and I'm sure you'll be fine in the long run. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It'd make my day if you'd hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and have an awesome day.